definitely mixed. I'm mixed. No, no, no. Yeah. Everybody's mixed, but what do you mix with? You, you might be mixed with uh, something, but it, it, it doesn't matter what you mix with. It goes back to your father's seed. It goes back to the original seed. It goes back to your original seed. Like, we got this one guy, he's saying, how can, uh, like, if you come back, because there's reincarnation in the Bible. I'll get to that in a minute, but I want to stick on this point. He said, uh, how can you be in one tribe and then later generations come as a different tribe because of the presence of women? But it goes back to your original, the original seed. Okay. Now, uh, get this in the in the Bible dictionary, Cam. Is this the Zondervans? Okay. Go ahead and 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 uh, read it for him. Tell him. Give him the. Uh, uh, this uh the Zondervan. Oh, uh, uh, this is the pictorial Bible dictionary. You get the right. Um, this is Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Uh, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negro. But the, wait a minute, see these scholars know that. Wait a minute, he became the progenitor of the dark race. By the way, him comes from the Hebrew word hum, which is actually where you get that word kemet. It means hot. The word Africa actually means a freakus. A uh, uh, without, which is which, which is Greek for without. Like when you're asexual, you're not sexual. So Africus means without cold. It means hot. Right. Those are Hamites. Right. Those are Hamites. Now some of them are Israelites because we fled in there. We were we were we were in there, especially in West Africa, North Africa, like Morocco, like Morocco. To this day, you have black slaves in Morocco ruled by Arabs that speak French. I was, I was just trying to learn a little bit about yep. it. I, I studied a little bit on it. But there's a there's an origination of that that term more, but it doesn't go back to to the raza, to the to the gene, to the seed, to the race. It's just a philosophy. It's not it, it, because most of those Moorish people were people that were influenced by uh, the uh, Turco Ottoman Empire. Who were uh, who were Muslims? Which which Islam is is a bullshit religion. It was created. It was created by the church. Uh, Khadija, who was uh, uh, Muhammad's wife, was a nun. Was a Catholic nun. Did you know that? And she was set up by her her, her uh, I believe her cousin to 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 deceive Muhammad. That's why there are so many similarities. That's why they worship Mary. Which that don't do that ain't nothing but going back into the worship of uh, the Queen of Heaven. So see now you gotta you gotta get into your real nationality, man. You have to ask yourself, why are we over here in slavery? Why 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 do the so-called Latin Latin uh, and native tribes and, and the so-called Negroes uh, fight each other, man. Oh, you don't gotta worry about it. He's talking to one of us. That you standing on? The one you standing on. Yeah. Um, you gotta ask yourself, like, you said you're from L.A., right? I used to live out in L.A. I lived on 63rd and Vermont. I also lived on uh, 125th, uh, 125th in El Segundo. Okay, so I lived out there. I, I saw, I saw uh, uh, the so-called Mexican fighting with the so-called black man. And I, it used to bother me because I'm like, we the same, the same fucking people. Man. We living in the same, you know, what I'm saying conditions, man. You know, you 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 go around the corner, man. You got the South Lokes, and then you go around the corner. You got they in Athens Park, and you, you know and all these. Right around, yeah, the corner. right around the corner, and but 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 nobody's asking why are we in this condition? They want to be a Muslim. They want to be a Moor. I'm gonna tell you something. You are a Moor, but all it means is that you black. That's all it means. No, I know that. But you're not even black, brother. You are you a nice little caramel color, brother. <laughs> That's right, you know? <laughs> your, your shirt is black. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta, y'all, you see y'all young. So you at a stage in your life where you, your mind is a, is a, is a um, give me uh, John chapter 8 and 32. Oh, we'll get that too, get that too. 
you had a stage in your lucky. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and uh, one, right at the top. Which right. You had a stage where your mind is like a sponge, so your your mind is a little bit more open than some of these knuckleheads back here, man. All right. I'm just messing with y'all, man. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right. First of all, you have to even know that you were created. There's nothing that exists that wasn't created. It tells you in Hebrews that uh, that you have to first do what? Believe that what? He is. Which that goes into his name. That's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. But, but... You have to get in touch with the fact that you were created. And then like Romans chapter one says, you can't worship the creature, meaning yourself. Your desires, your, your ideas, ideas in your head. You have your perceptions, your, your worldview. You have to worship the creator. See, when you worship the creator, now you really start getting deep into actually really who you are. That's when you really start getting knowledge yourself. I don't want to sound like them five yeah. percent, yeah. but it's true. It's true though. Go to the kitchen for more. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Well, the evil. Yeah, he can rap like that. He can rap, but he ain't shallow. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw not. When thou shalt say, see, while the evil days come not, because see, there's evil days coming to America. How do we know that? We know it through prophecy. Because see, you you probably looking to you probably looking at us on, on like damn. Y'all been in Hollywood? Um, I swear to God, yeah, yeah. No, that's we got another camp out there. We got another camp out there. But 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 y'all probably looking at us like damn. Why are you so passionate about this? You gotta ask yourself a question, right? If if I say something, I say when you walk away right now, a dog is gonna come tackle you, lick your face, and run away, and it happens. You gonna look back at me and be like, what the hell? What the hell is this right. dude working with? Yeah. Right? Like, what, what, what's going on in his mind right. that, he, that he knew that that was, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was gonna happen. So, it's the same with this book because there's so many things that have been prophesied to a pinpoint, uh, to pinpoint accuracy. Then that's 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 why we're so passionate about it. Yeah. And we and we're occupied in the study of those prophecies. So y'all gonna have you you gonna have to really. Get, dig in to who you are, man. So what, like, can I, like, what is, what is this exactly? Like, what is like, the message? Well, well, well. First of all, we're preaching the word of the heavenly Father. Second of all, according to prophecy, we know that these people are, are the uh, are the Israelites spoken of in the Bible. All those great men that are read about prophets and all that. That was our people, man. Yep. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It wasn't. It, it ain't them people over there claiming to be Jews. You know, you could, in the land today, through the prophecies, and the prophecies spoke about these people, these people uh, suffering the curses, man. Yeah. Uh, get, you, know you know what? You go ahead and get that in Deuteronomy 20. Yeah, these people ain't on. They ain't on bottom. On the bottom by chance. Man. Yeah. And there's a reason why we on the bottom. There's a reason. Yeah, if you watch our uh, basketball or football, who, who, who dominates that? I do. I feel like it. What about soccer? Natives, Latin Americans, right? Boxing, Latin, Latins, Latins and black folks, right? Do you honestly think that that a that a decrepit asshole, so-called white man, could really take that group of people down? Do you honestly believe that? Without some type of supernatural uh, uh, um, component, yeah, he was given he was given the space and the time to rule, and it's talked about in the scriptures. Right. And we know through the scriptures that that time of uh, the so-called white man ruling the planet through total wickedness. By the way, because you see the world how polluted it is, that his time is coming to an end, and these people's time to rule the planet under who the world calls Jesus Christ is coming into fruition. And it's not, it's not something that we're forcing. We're not forcing it. It's all happening through the spirit of the, of the Most High His Son. Yep. It, we're not, we ain't going around, brother, don't, don't, don't get us wrong. Even though we're yeah. passionate about, about it, we ain't going around killing faggots. Yeah, yeah. You know, we ain't going around slapping white people. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, give me my yeah. paycheck, bitch, and all that. Yeah. We, you know, we ain't going around doing nothing like that. Because the scripture says, wait ye upon me. But we can see it happen. It's progressing. 
to 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 um to the destruction of this place. Yeah, to a paradigm shift. You know, to a real paradigm shift. Right. And even so-called white people know it, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you go, you watch people like Alex Jones and the guys that follow him that make them bug out kits. Yep. They, they stocking up yeah, on yeah, food, yeah, getting yeah. ammo, because they feel something happening. Because yeah. yep. there is something happening. So it's not just one singular thing that we preaching. Right. It's a whole concept and idea and that, that involves many things, man. That there's a paradigm shift coming. Yeah, man. Teaching everything. Um, like in Revelation, and we just read that. Now, in Revelation it says, "Behold, I make all things new." Literally, everything is going to be new. Don't you know that the trees they're going to have a certain sway about them when this devil is out of out of out of power? Man? The, the trees are going to eat the trees. They're they, they, they going to have like a certain sway about them. Man. They, you know, animals going to be happy. Animals going to be happy, man. You know, you you walk by a squirrel, man. Oh, uh, squirrel, run away from you and shit, man. Right, because he know you got some bullshit on your mind. <laughs> you know, hey, we going to be in the kingdom, man. Squirrel, they gave up on humanity, squirrel going to be like, what's up, my right. nigga? <laughs> that's just like, that's just like I, I always bring up that B movie, man. The B movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to see that. The B movie. In the B movie. In the B movie. Yeah, you know with Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, bees, the bees sued the so-called white man <laughs> and won. <laughs> <laughs> and one. Well, that's actually happening in real in reality. Yeah, yeah. There's a lack of bees in pollinating yeah. birds and uh, butterflies. Yeah, the man. bees are dying. They're dying. Man. The bees are dying. They, they, this man has destroyed the planet, well, man. And, devils, and it's time for people to stand up and scream on them, man. That's right. And pretty soon there's gonna be a war of uh, the third world war, man. That's right. And that's gonna be the culmination of his complete and utter downfall. Okay, go ahead. Sirach chapter 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Oh, give me a Proverbs 29. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what's happening. It's going to be translated. That's happened all throughout history. It wasn't just, uh, it's not just the so-called white men. I mean, you had the Persians, you had the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Romans, you know, uh, uh, the Assyrians, Egyptians. Sumerians, Egyptians, uh, yeah, even yeah, Moab, yeah. certain certain other regions of uh, of, of the earth. They all have their part. Yep. yep. Go ahead. Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Uh, right. But when the wicked beareth rule. The people mourn. Now, are you rejoicing? You probably are rejoicing, but the things you rejoice about are probably in wickedness. Like when I, when I, uh, when when I, when you walked up, you were, um, hey man, y'all just pay attention, you know, to the devil. When, when you, when, when you, uh, when you walked up, you know, you were, uh, smoking on a cigarette, right? Yeah, that's that. I mean, that's not. I mean, you know, but you enjoy it though, right? Not buzz. really. It I gives just you a little buzz. You know what I'm saying? But I, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's something that you enjoy. So that's something that you should uh not enjoy. You shouldn't enjoy that. That's a that's a that's a a, a poison that the man in rulership is giving to you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that's see, these are the key steps in the, in the getting into this truth. It's, it's killing. You start cutting things out. Yep. Yeah, you gotta start decalcifying that pineal gland, uh, <laughs> that third eye. And you know that's actually in the scripture, man. They tell you in the scripture that uh, that Adam, uh, that the Lord breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now Adam was already breathing, man. Yeah. So what did he breathe into him? He breathed in the, the understanding of, of the laws of who he is, how to live, the understanding of the Most High, so that he could he could give that to his uh to his progeny or his children to 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 to, uh, to explain it. Can I ask something else? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what what the twenty? What, what's that? Like what the twenty dollar bill? It goes into the nine eleven. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> yeah, I know about the nine eleven. No, it goes. It goes into it, man. I mean, it breaks it down, and it like the five, the ten, the twenty. Yeah. Really goes into the progression <laughs> of the, of the towers coming down, man. All the way up to the hundred. Now yeah. you you know that goes magic. back to uh that goes back to magic. Um, you look up this guy Alistair Crawley. There's a picture on on the internet where he's got he's got like a fucking a penis hat on or whatever yeah. and he's got his yeah. he's got his yeah. hands like this there's one arm a little taller than the other one 
just like the towers. Yeah, I understand that. Now that was like a they they said that was like a hundred year plan. Yeah. You know when you when you uh when you go into the Illuminati, they don't do stuff just on a whim, man. Yeah. They've been planning a lot of this stuff for years. Yeah. Yep. You know, uh, like, like this guy uh, watching. It's like it's not real, it's just a conspiracy. Yeah. People are stupid. Well, yeah, because, you know, people are dumb. I mean, I, if you ask somebody, if I ask somebody uh, if they knew about the, the year before, uh, might have been a year before or a year after the, the towers. I think it was a year before, but it might have been a year after. I, I, I have to look it up. Basically, there was a um, there were two buildings. There was a building in Philadelphia that was burning white hot, man. It was burning white hot, didn't fall. There was another building in Barcelona a year later that, that burned white hot, and even longer, like 24 hours, and didn't fall. Now. That fire was so cool in the towers that there were people in the windows like, nigga, come save me. Right. 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 <laughs> 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 so, so according to how hot they were saying it was, they would have, they should have melted, man. They should have yes. disintegrated. They shouldn't have found no path. So that's just one point of all these different points to show you that thing was fucking contrived. But man. people are stupid. You, you, I mean, if you tell them that, they call you a conspiracy theorist. But then, but, but check this out. Being a conspiracy, there's nothing wrong with being a conspiracy theorist. Right. Listen, y'all, you know what the word conspiracy means? Actually, no. Got the definition right here. Hey, well, go ahead and bring it on now. I, I, I got it. I think it's out the Black Law Dictionary, though. Oh, okay. I, 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 and then I'll tell you what it means in Latin. Let me see if I got it. In. I think they have it in Latin and blacks. Yeah. In the, in blacks. the Black Law Dictionary. Yeah, I think they have it in Latin. Americans ain't trying to wake up to nothing, man. That's why you're saying. Jimmy Arjun is like. Is it is a combination or an agreement? Oh, there it is. Oh, right. That's it. It's it's a combination. Oh, you know, you come from Cali, Texas, you don't really feel that racist. Hey, well, there's nothing yeah. wrong with being racist, man. It's, uh, you got to learn. The the kingdom, racist man. comes from Raza. Remember, I told this you. This is their kingdom, right? I don't know if this is right, though. But go, well, go ahead, read it. I'll tell you what it means. Is it is a combination or an agreement between two or more persons for accomplishing an unlawful end or a lawful end by way? of an unlawful means, the incent and sinks of conspiracy is an agreement together with an overact to do an unlawful act or to do a lawful act in an unlawful manner. Yeah, well that's what it means, that's the lawful definition, but but what the Latin means is con, together, inspire, to breathe. Okay. So y'all are conspiring right now. Yeah. Y'all were when y'all walked down, y'all were conspiring. Hey, yo, we gonna do and, and now I don't, yeah. I don't know exactly what y'all were gonna go do, yeah. but I could theorize. Yeah. So me being a conspiracy thing, not wrong with me being a y'all conspiracy thing. Conspiring. Y'all probably was conspiracy. Y'all probably was conspiracy. Just trying to go, we gonna just go jump on, on some hoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What you talking about? Ain't no hoes out here, man. Out here. Oh it's man, really you wildin' out, man. This is Texas. Yeah, this is Texas, yeah, Texas boy. Yeah. 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 Ain't nothing but hoes out here. Yo, yo. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Literally. Hey, brother, we can't be talking about that, though. Yeah, yeah. We can't do nothing with that. Well, hey, on the word racist, it just means race, gene. <laughs> Yep. This uh, is a suffix meaning something that you're about, something that you advocate for. Man. Right. So that means when you say racist, they, they've taken that word and made it into something negative. It's a good thing. That means that you advocate for your people, man. That you stand right. up special for a particular interest. race. You have a special interest in that race. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll be out of here in a minute. Don't how worry. How long? How long do you think? Yeah, a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. 15 we, minutes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just yeah, a few. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe even less than that. Maybe even less than that. Get you hot dog. Yeah, the, you know, the weenie right. man to learn to, to right be here. nice to us. Right here. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm by myself. He said he called the police on us. He called the police on us. But I guess he repented it. I guess he went on his just diabetes. When he first showed it, he repented it. Hot dog. All day. By myself. His gout flared up. He repented it. Hey, but if you.
you don't take nothing away from this, brother, just know you're an Israelite, man. And, get, and go watch the video. Don't don't take none of don't take our word for what we're saying, man. Do, do the research. Do the research. See what we're if what we're saying is valid. Seeing if what see if what we're saying is uh is accurate. Yeah, don't be emotional. And don't get emotional about it, cause we some we some we some hard brothers, man. You know, it, it, sometimes it gotta come out that way. You know, I got my man right here. He looks smoother than me, man. You, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. But 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 uh, it tells you in the scriptures that you're supposed to. Uh, Acknowledge the the teacher that's forward and you know and me you know so you you watch it hey you know what whoever got a pen and paper you know give them yeah. GMS Dallas Texas hey but well you about the white man's going down too yeah that's the other thing the white man's going and he's an Edomite he's not he's not a white man he's an Edomite yeah. down that's the beauty that's the best that's the best thing yeah going, man the man. people the Illuminati the at least the Rothschilds and all the different banking families man when you read the scriptures they come from the family. Edom. Yep. And they were prophesied to rule the earth with the sword, man. That's right. And they have done that, man. So that whole the whole Illuminati, the whole Illuminati idea and doctrine is is it true? Is it true? Yeah, man. They do conspire and have control of the world. It's in the scripture. You know, it's in the Bible. The Illuminati is talked about in the Bible, man. First of all, the word Illuminati simply means uh lighted one. Lighted lighted ones. You know, and and that's written in the scriptures, uh in uh I Isaiah 14, where it talks about Lucifer. That ain't talking about no weird little creature with a, you know, with a tail and a trident. You know, it's, it's actually talking about a group of people. You gonna go under the ground and get stabbed in the for, for, for eternity? That's not. No, it's not in the Bible. He look like my man. Look like my man Tracy from uh, the Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say that. Damn, that's great. Everybody what you say got? That. Okay, y'all bring it out. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, right, where? that's what they did. They, um, so, like, right like this. Yeah. Now, they put this guy up, Chesed Borgia. Who was an actual person as Jesus Christ, and that's what they gave to our people. But they also covered the faces through a process called iconoclasm, where they would go basically and uh, put acid and other different things on the dark on the dark pictures of our uh, of our people. Uh, of the icons of, of our people and, and turn them into white people, man. Yeah, but they didn't do such a good job, man, because, uh, because you know, they would have a face white, but then their arms would be black. <laughs> you know, they didn't do that good of a job. I was kind of studying about, like, the original history of Black. Yeah, well, it goes, it goes into all that. It, most of the Greeks, man, most of the, the Greeks, Greeks were black. America, yeah, the, like yeah, yep. and, it, and I was just studying like the original, like the original Buddha. And everything was like black and Asian. Yeah, most of them people in type, Asia. Just, hey, most just of them people in Asia, man, that came from our people, man. Yeah, like that yeah. whole, the whole martial arts Dark thing, shit, man. That came, from us. That came yeah. from us, man. That came yeah. King David and yeah, all man. his mighty men <laughs> were, were, were skilled in war, man. They should be Moses. Moses was so skilled in war that it said that his 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 strength didn't abate until the day he died, man. Yeah. Yeah. He was old. Yeah, that had to and you have, you actually have people like that today walking the earth, like Anderson Silva, man. Mm -hmm. That dude is what, 38, 37? Yeah. And I mean, that, that dude, yeah, his, his strength ain't abate, man. Yep. Yeah. Because if, if them goose really originated that, then they should be winning in MMA, man. Hey, man, right. them niggas get paid. But we be, we be in there mocking them, dude. You see how, them, you see how uh, Randy Couture went out? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Randy Couture. That's what I'm saying. Randy Couture in his 40s and, and, and just start getting dominated. Yeah. yeah. But usually, you, usually when fighters start to tail off from 35 and on, you know what I'm saying. But Randy Couture is a crack. Hop. You got B Hop 48. But no Hopkins. Yeah. Oh man, he just like 50 he, years he old. He just put on a boxing you know clinic, man. Uh, Did you see that fight? Nah. He just yeah. man, he just put on a boxing clinic, man. Yeah. But you put a 48 year old cracker in the ring and see what happens. Herschel Walker. <laughs> yeah. Herschel Walker damn near 50. Nah, yeah. He's steady winning. He's steady. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. You say that. You say that. <laughs> Herschel Walker. That's why I say Herschel Walker and Bernard Hopkins is both older than Randy Couture. Yeah. 
They've Brandon Couture got a coach now because he yeah. can't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? That's not a mistake. That's not a coincidence. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we were built, we were built to be crazy. stronger than them. Well, it tells you, mentally, it, physically, it, physically. It tells you that in, uh, yeah. it tells you in Genesis uh, chapter 25 yeah. about that. Yeah. You know? That, that we were gonna be the stronger, you know? So anyway, you know, we're gonna wrap it up. If y'all brothers got anything? Hey, well, we, we, you know, we was already about to wrap it up, but like I said, if you don't take nothing else away from it, brother, go to that site, you an Israelite, man. Right. You an Israelite, yep. man. Yep. You know? Yep. And the next world to come has way more to the And study, you man. You got to study. World, and, and stop smoking them goddamn squares, man. Man, I'm trying. What do you think about don't try, man. Don't try. Do it. Any situation. I don't think not. Well, no, no. You know what? They don't think. They're not. They, just they, them knowing the law. Yeah, the only thing is they know the law. Anybody can know the law. It's crackers that know the law. Yeah, but if you, yeah, it's crackers that know the law. It's crackers that, that be suing uh, these judges and shit, man. Hey, you know, this crack, it's all type of crackers. I, I, there's a boy crackers down in Austin, man. This nigga. He 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 does not have a driver's license, man. But he keeps suing. He, he keeps suing the judges, and they just don't want to fuck with him no more, man. They just don't want to fuck with him no. They got this one guy named Randy Kelton. Uh, this one guy named Randy Kelton. He what he does is he he gets you out of your mortgages. Okay. You know? So knowing the law don't mean you're a boy. It just means you know the law. And first of all, that's not even. But that's the law. This is yeah. the original law, bro. Yeah. See, that's what they don't want to tell you, man. And and they and, and they'll tell you that natural law is based off of this, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which which natural law is common law. Yeah. That's what it and they'll tell you that. They'll straight up tell you that. You know. So yeah. with that, you know, hey, you know, I'm I'm glad you stopped by, man. I'm glad y'all two yeah. stopped by. Yeah. But y'all gotta, you know, listen, man. Ah, uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, and pay attention, and if you don't, you know, if you don't, hope, Lord willing, you're of the elect, and yeah. it'll, it'll stick in your mind. Yeah. Lord willing, you're of the elect, and it'll stick in your mind. You yeah. know, yeah. but you gotta take, you gotta take the time out while you, while you young men. Yeah. Cause I can see y'all, they young, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, we got this brother right here, young man. We got him out of South Dallas, man. Yeah. Hey, but this brother, he can deal, he can deal with any, yeah. any biblical scholar out there, man. Yeah, chop yeah. cheese and jake that stuff. <laughs> easy, easy work. <laughs> easy work. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you like this. I used to smoke squirrels like a motherfucker, man. If I can stop smoking squirrels, you can stop smoking squirrels. Yeah. I want to say, hey, like, like this brother told me, ain't nothing to it but to do it. The only way to stop smoking is to stop smoking. All that I'm trying, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're stronger than that. That's right. Yeah, that's you're a fucking there. object on the earth that got power over you like that, man. You know, you gotta yeah. think about it like that. This motherfucking little ass square controls me, man. Right, you know? right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, like that, hey, like that, hey, like that joint and half baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be back. back. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't, bitch. <laughs> So, hey, y'all, y'all have a good night. Yep. We say, we say, we say, we say, hey, Shalom, y'all brothers. Shalom. Peace to you, okay? Shalom. See, we ain't that mean. I want to say, that's who the brothers be at. We ain't that mean, niggers. Yeah. You niggers. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Man. Hey, so with that, we going to let the weenie man get his job going. It's, it's weenie time. It's weenie time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. hey, hey. All praise to you. How about Shim, y'all shy? We want to send double honors to the elders that rule well. All praises and you know honor to you brothers that are out there teaching the word in sincerity. And uh, you know, man up. Yeah, so long.